as we gear up for our live Saskatchewan Provincial Election Show, we are excited to announce the launch of our newest series, Saskatchewan Votes, one-on-one -on -one with municipal leaders. Over the coming weeks, we'll be crisscrossing Saskatchewan, meeting with municipal leaders from across the province to hear firsthand their priorities, challenges, and expectations from the provincial leaders vying to form government. Now, these discussions will dive into what matters most to local governments, from infrastructure and economic development to housing, healthcare, and so much more. We'll also explore what these leaders hope to hear from their local candidates in their respective ridings and in their own communities. Now, we're kicking off today with a special one-on-one -on -one interview featuring Lloydminster Mayor Gerald Elbers. Mayor Elbers will share his thoughts on the key issues impacting his city and what he believes the party should be focusing on to support municipal growth and prosperity. Attention Saskatchewan. This election season, Municipal Affairs is hitting the road in partnership with SUMA for the Saskatchewan Provincial Election. Join us on election night for live coverage straight from Regina, on YouTube featuring exclusive insights from municipal leaders and stakeholders across the province. We will be capturing their reaction to the results and be diving into what the new provincial government means for municipalities. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan to hear directly from local leaders about the issues that matter most to you. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan starting September 30th to hear directly from local leaders like yourself about the issues that matter most. This is your election covered like never before. Municipal Affairs, your trusted voice from the grassroots to the government. Mayor Elbers, we are days if not hours away from the provincial government in Saskatchewan calling their official provincial election. As the mayor of Lloydminster, the border city of Alberta and Saskatchewan, is there anything you're hoping that the two party leaders or all party leaders will be addressing? Well, certainly I think the challenge that we're all facing as municipal leaders across Saskatchewan is infrastructure. That's the number one issue that we're our biggest responsibility. Our residents look to us for water, sewer, roads, fire protection. And those are so, so important and I, I can't emphasize those enough. So certainly infrastructure and ensuring that that support to municipalities because we're dealing with 60 year old infrastructure in many cases that need to be rejuvenated, uh, taken up to federal standards that are being imposed on us. So we went through that with our own wastewater treatment plants. So I think those that's the most critical, but we're all facing challenges from healthcare. And we hear about that every day as local municipal leaders, what's happening in our hospitals and our nursing homes and things like that. So it, those are an important issue that's going to have to be addressed in this provincial election for sure. Are you concerned as mayor of a more rural city that your issues are not going to be talked about because it is a very close horse race right now in the two larger cities of Saskatoon and Regina that may be Lloydminster's issues or even big city mayors, the cities like you represent as the chair might not be addressed during this election? No, I think that you're going to see uh, the candidates for all the political parties reach out and ask those questions because they're, they're going to be knocking on doors and they're going to be reaching out to people, attending forums and debates. And I think it's going to come out very clearly that, that the whole province works together. Economic development is tied to everything in the province without schools to educate those students to be our next workforce, to ensure that we can get people back to work as soon as possible. So when you talk about economic development, which is a corner stone for all of us it's so critical on all the other pieces one of the big things that Lloydminster is known for is heavy oil you just had the heavy oil show up in Lloydminster are you hoping that the energy industry will be take front and center during this election as well as a mayor of a community that is so reliant on the energy industry well, energy industry, the the entire industry uh, from that perspective, we bring in, talk about coal, you can talk about Estevan and Cornock, you talk about uranium, you're talking about most of northern Saskatchewan, uh, the play Saskatoon with SRC doing their work with it, and SAS Power. So yeah, energy is a huge part of the province. It drives economics. Yeah, from the business world, we talk about it and hear about it here, that it's so important that people have reasonably priced electricity for manufacturing and for processing 
processing, especially heavy metals and metals and, and uh, critical mineral, uh, met minerals. So I think there's a, uh, it's a big part of our community. Energy plays a huge role and certainly it will be the forefront because we're waiting patiently to see what happens at the federal government level and that has even more implications. So it's, it's a double whammy. It's both the provincial and federal. Earlier this year and even last year, you were calling on the federal government to reduce or pause the carbon tax. That did not happen. Are you hoping that the two provincial leaders will address the carbon tax during this election because you've been so advocately calling on it for its repeal or even its pause? Certainly, I, you know, it's going to play a huge role. Saskatchewan agriculture plays such a huge role and energy is used in every step of agriculture. I often chat with some of my farm friends and they're paying carbon tax and making eight or ten trips to town to negotiating on seed, fertilizer, marketing before the seeds in the ground, let alone getting the harvest to the bin back to market again and paying carbon tax to ship it to the coast where we hope the uh, coastal workers are working and getting it on the grain vessels. So it's really challenging. Challenging. And I really hope that uh, it is a front and center because inflation, we've seen inflation at record highs and part of it's been driven, I believe, by carbon tax. So I hope that is a, a discussion. People talk about affordability, get rid of the carbon tax. Hopefully we can bring some affordability back to it from my perspective anyways. Locally, let's turn to Lloydminster riding in particularly. You have two candidates already announced. There may be some more that uh, do get on the ballot afterwards, the NDP and the Saskatchewan party. Is there anything locally you're looking for the two local candidates to address in this election? Because they're your representative in Regina and they're your voice. What are you hoping that they say? Well, certainly I think that, uh, you know, between health care, nursing homes, uh, long-term care, mental health and addictions, policing, those are the factors that they have a direct influence in uh, on. And, uh, you know, we, we've, we're we facing challenges in Lloyd Minister itself as well as the greater constituency because what we are seeing that it's out and about in the rural portion of the constituency. So I hope that we have those discussions with the candidates and truly understand what their positions are to make a change. I'm assuming they've already probably reached out or going to reach out. Will you take the conversations with both part, the both party candidates? Absolutely. I welcome uh, anybody that's planning on running in the provincial election in the Lloyd Minister constituency the opportunity to make time to sit down, have a cup of coffee and discuss the issues from my view, which I hope is the view of council in the greater community. Perfect. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Municipal Affairs. Now, we hope you've enjoyed our first of many one-on-one -on -one interviews with many mayors from across the province of Saskatchewan heading up to Election Day, where we will be broadcasting live from Regina downtown at the headquarters of the Saskatchewan Urban Municipalities Association. If you haven't already, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our one-on-one -on -one interviews. Plus, be notified when we officially go live on Election Night. Your support helps us continue to grow and help you bring you more important conversations like you heard today. So stay connected, stay informed, and we'll see you next time here on Municipal Affairs. Until then, everyone, talk to you soon.